In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, and the earth was without form and void. Now, Charles Darwin, you remember him. Now, why am I not surprised Carrie would have something to add to this? <laughs> something we're now calling the Genesis Code. Doing a story on Madison College's new hockey super chat. That's your girl? No, 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 not this one. She's a Christian. Blake's mom is really sick. She has pancreatic cancer. She's in the hospital in a coma. You proved that science and Genesis are not in conflict, then I'll, I'll reconsider. I just came from the hospital. I heard what you guys are planning on doing. Carrie, we live in a postmodern world. Well, without any additional factual information, I have no choice but to deny your motion for injunction. Pay attention, guys. I think the answer to the question of is the Bible right or is science right? Don't let this adherence to something your parents might have believed stand between you and a wonderful life. And it's that both are absolutely correct. Mark and his friends have created a visual montage that provides a startling revelation. Science and the six days of Genesis are in complete accord. I know it's hard, if not impossible, for you to accept it, but it might be for the best. Lord, I know this isn't the way it's supposed to be done, but I'm not asking for a miracle or for anything for myself. The Genesis Code, coming soon to a theater near you.